There are thousands of fishing hooks out there. Which hooks do you need most for bass fishing? We're going to talk about that. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Fish Talk. Hello and happy Friday. Here's the deal. I've got coffee. Mmm. Quite delicious, by the way. And I've also got 5 minutes on this time of year, and you know what that means. Boop! It's time to get real. I was looking in my garage. I've just got a huge mess of fishing stuff, and I saw some fishing hooks, and ding! Light bulb went off. I've never made an episode of 5 Minute Fish Talk on just fishing hooks. I cannot believe I haven't. But today we're going to talk about the most important fishing hooks that you need to get started bass fishing. Here's what I know. If you go into Cabela's, you go into Walmart, it doesn't really matter where you go, you're going to see this wall of fishing hooks. And it's really intimidating if you're just getting into bass fishing. So today I want to really simplify it and talk about the core hooks that you're going to need to get started. And then after this video, you're going to go out and you're going to catch a lunker. That's what's going to happen. Here's the deal. Rather than just chit-chatting away, I'm going to get cut right to the chase. At the end of this video, I'll share some further thoughts, so stay tuned to the very end. Okay, what's my number one hook? My number one hook that everybody should start with is a 4 aught straight shank worm hook. The reason that I like this one is because it works with so many different baits. Whether you're using a little finesse worm, you're using a Senko, you're using a craw bait, this will work really well for you. It also pairs really nicely with something like a 12 to a 17 pound fluorocarbon. And that's, you know, that tends to be the type, the size line most people use 50, 60% of the time. So that's why this hook is always gonna be a good one. Now the next hook that I would use is actually gonna be an extra wide gap hook. Reason being is this one is actually a little bit thicker gauge wire, so it's gonna be a little heavier duty uh, hook. So you'd be able to use this with braid or heavier fluorocarbons, and then it's gonna work a little bit better for some of the bigger baits that are more bulky. It's just gonna fit nicer with those, and it's gonna fit that body style. I, I happen to like this one as my number one because I, I tend to find that it slides through cover just a little bit easier because it is so much more low profile. But these ones are really, really good for horse and fish out of the thick stuff because it's just a bigger hook. It's a meatier hook. Now, if you have those two hooks, you're going to be 90% there. Those two hooks for Texas rigs are going to be almost all you need. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you. But the next thing that I would use is because I love finesse fishing and I love wacky rigging, I would go ahead and get some type of wacky hook. And I happen to use, here, I've got it sitting in my pile over here. I happen to use this Trocar size one weedless wacky hook. It doesn't really matter what brand you go with or whatever, but a one or a one aught is going to probably be the right size for most Nico rigs and wacky rigs. And you just hook that Senko right through the middle and just watch it flutter to the bottom and the bass slurp it. Anyways, yeah, that would be my number three hook. My number four hook would also be for a finesse fishing application, and it happens to be the drop shot. Now, this one's probably a little bigger than the normal hook that I would use, but you get the picture of what it looks like. So I would happen to use a rebarb hook or a trocar TK, I don't even know what it is. It's a finesse worm hook that uh, trocar makes that looks about like this rebarb hook. The reason I like this for drop shots is because it makes it Texas rigged. It makes it weedless, and so you can pull it through brush, you can pull it through grass, and you're going to be able to catch fish with that. But this is my number four hook. If you have those top three, you're covered down for most situations. But this one, if you do throw a drop shot, I would almost consider it a must-have, um, personally. Regardless, what are the next things to think about? Well, obviously, you know, these are four-aught four -aught hooks. If you are fishing a lot of different size baits, let's say you throw a lot of small finesse worms, well, maybe you want to get some smaller size hooks, two-aught and three-aught of the same varieties. But then if you're fishing a lot of, on the other side, really big baits, you know, bigger than this, two, three times the size of this, 10-inch worms, you might more, want more of the five-aughts and six-aughts. So that's really that last 10% of hooks you want. These four hooks right here are going to cover down on 90% of your fishing styles, likely. But that last 10% is just getting the different variety of sizes. So anyways, I'm rambling here. Hopefully this helps you choose your fishing hooks. If you have any further questions, comments, concerns, as always, just drop those in the comments below. Otherwise, you know what I'm going to say next, right? Have yourself a fantastic weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next time.